Hey everybody, Andal here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. So as you surely know from the thumbnail, today we are going to be unboxing some G1 Monster High dolls. These are not dolls that I have gotten recently. They're dolls that I've had for a while. Two of them, the Lagunas, I got off of Mercari totally intending to unbox them and then when they arrived the condition of the boxes was too good and i was not willing to unbox them at the time but then i realized that i just way prefer dolls out of the box that i'm not an inbox collector so i know that i'll enjoy these uh goals better out of the box so that's what we're going to do today so you can see first up here we have a laguna this is a dot dead gorgeous laguna um and i think that she is really super beautiful and that this line is uh, is pretty underrated but i feel like laguna is an underrated character in general I'm just flipping it around the back here because it's so cute how they, you know, gave the characters, like, some lore. So if you wanted to pause and, che and check that out, uh, you know, feel free to do so. Not that you need my permission to pause your, your own device. <laughs> I'm really interested in getting back into collecting G1 Monster High. G1 Monster High is what got me into doll collecting as an adult in the first place. So I think it'll always be my favorite line. <laughs> Then we have Picture Day Laguna. I love this Laguna. But I'm such a big fan of like the whole Picture Day lineup. Um, I have Picture Day Operetta. I would love to get Picture Day Frankie eventually uh, whenever I find them pop up for, you know, a good price in a good enough condition. And I just think that this is a really super cute doll. And she has such nice little details. Like they're always giving Laguna like fishnets um, type things. And it's just like the theme of Monster High dolls, especially in G1, it's just, it's just really on point. And speaking of theme, the back of the box is super in keeping with the picture day idea. We have like a little page of the yearbook here, which is <laughs> really cute. And Frankie and uh, Jackie and Laura are marked as uh, Laguna's BFFs, which is just a really cute touch. The packaging of G1 was just... Um, it was just perfect. It was exactly what it should be. And I think that's really my only argument for keeping a G1 doll in box. But uh, alas, we are not going to do that. And then the last doll that we are going to unbox today, I, I'm going to call her a G1 doll because she is, you know, on the G1 body. But obviously she has come out during the time of G3. And that is Miss Gulia here. So this is Gulex Gulia. She was um, a member exclusive on Mattel Creations. Uh, as soon as I knew that this doll was going to exist, I knew that I really wanted to get her. Gulia is one of my favorite uh, characters from G1 Monster High and also just one of my favorite dolls. I actually don't have um, the original release of uh, Gulia, so I'm very excited that that's going to be a Boo original Cree production. Uh, I've been waiting to own a doll of the original Gulia for <laughs> literal years, so... Um, very excited those are supposedly going to be out april 1st so i will be getting my hands on a, on a Gulia for sure and i spared you guys the uh, unboxing experience i don't know if it's worth seeing or not and honestly i i don't you know like some people have like a a certain ability to unbox things on camera and just make it look nice and even maybe relaxing a little bit I do not have that ability, so I think that in our scenario here today, the best thing to do is to just show you the doll after they've been removed from the box. Um, obviously here she's on her stand. That is definitely one of the um, things that is lacking in G3. I, I'm a G3 fan, don't get me wrong, but if those dolls came with stands, I would be an even happier camper than I already am. Um, obviously... This Laguna is beautiful. I Her hairstyle is so cute, and I love how much that it has held up after spending so much time in the box. Of course, the details on this doll are just really super cute. I love her makeup. I love the blue streaks that she's got going on in her hair and her necklace, and the little bubbles that are on the top portion of her dress are super sweet. Um, I've been, you know, hoping that these dolls ha don't have too big of an issue with glue seepage so far laguna seems okay so that is a win of course 
because glue seepage is a real pain, but it's it's fixable if temporarily, but you know, you keep doing it, it's fine. <laughs> um then here is the little picture card that she comes with, which is just super cute and display worthy in and of itself. You can see the rest of the ghouls in the lineup. And she looks a lot like her character art too, which is um, fun. The bangs are um, not a little different. They're quite different, but that doesn't bother me. Then she comes with this little seashell compact, a little phone that slides up. Oh my goodness, remember when that used to be all the rage? <laughs> That is um, so cute. I love the tiny little Monster High phones and the tiny little skelettes that they put on them. Then she has this purse that kind of gives me sand dollar vibes, but also kind of jellyfish vibes, so maybe just sea creatures in general. And then she has a brush that matches the color of her stand. And that's everything that, she, uh, that this girly comes with here. Let's take another look at her. I'm very happy with her. I can definitely appreciate her so much more out of box than in box. Um, I want to show you that these shoes, they're like clamshells and on the front there's like this little pearl. It's just, who, who thought of these things? And thank you to them. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll move on to our next Laguna here. Picture Day Laguna. I really love, uh, this doll. I love the, the, the different, like, textures and fabrics that they used. Obviously, this is just a perfect use of, um, the sort of fishnet sort of aesthetic. And I love the asymmetrical earrings as well. I know I'm saying I love a lot in this video, but I am just um, very hardcore appreciative of G1 Monster High. She does have a little bit of yellowing around her hairline because of, you know, glue seepage. And uh, her head is, you know, it's a little bit hard. You know, it's it, it, it feels quite hard when there's glue seepage. So I know better than to allow this doll to come into contact with any boiling water because that will surely make the glue seepage even worse. These pants are just fantastic. They give off like the vibe of um, sort of like fish scales, but like in a way that isn't disgusting because anytime I hear, you know, the word scales, that's like, gross. <laughs> then she also comes with this little envelope folder and of course a monster high brush here and then i totally forgot to point out how gorgeous her bracelet and little belt are and just how cute it is that everything laguna is wearing is just so nautical and just a lot of fun it is just the the, the definition of like a complete whole look slash vibe and I think that we, we are all here for that. Then she also comes with this little fear book, which I am so glad I unboxed this for this alone because I did not realize that they came with like a little mini fear book. And there's like pictures of the faculty and their names. You can see this is just so cute. And then there's also the like the superlatives that you put into a yearbook where, you know, like you vote most likely for this or that or whatever. And then they give you a little sheet of stickers with all the characters, which is, they are so cute. And then you can vote yourself on which superlative they fit in there. So we have nicest, brainiest, um, most creepy cool. Um, it's just, it, it's so much fun. I, I can't believe that I never knew this was in here. My other picture day doll, I got secondhand, not complete. So I never knew about this. And then there's like a class picture. And then in the back, there's like all of the different signatures and different colors and fonts, handwriting, um, from all of the different, you know, ghouls and monsters. And I just think that that is the coolest. And then last, but certainly not least, we have our Ghoul X Ghoulie doll. She is really gorgeous. I know everybody was freaking out over her boots when she was released because it's the first time Monster High did fabric boots, which is excellent. Uh, she has like a crown that's like little skeleton, little skeletal fingers, which is really neat. And this bag is just adorable. I love the, I don't know if they're meant to be like patches or stickers or pins, regardless of what they are, they look so stinking cute and I love them. And it's, it's super Gulia. Like this is a very chic Gulia, but it is still Gulia. And just the fact that there is like a brain print on these boots and they look this good. It, 
it's just exciting. I think that, that is needless to say. It is very exciting. And then I wanted to show you um, that it comes with like the clip for her stand is bigger than usual, which I super appreciate it because it makes it so it's able to accommodate her outfit. Because there's, I, I think that we've all experienced when you put a doll on a stand and the clip immediately breaks and it is just... Uh, at first, it's something that's really upsetting, and then you get used to it, and it's just like a... <sighs> but anyways, that's not going to be the case with this ghoulia, which is excellent. And I love the glasses that they gave her, because they're like the original ghoulia glasses, only with translucent like arms on the glasses, which is just excellent and exactly what it should be. And, that I, and I love that her hair is very much in the same style as um, the original ghoulia. It, it, it was just lots of great choices <laughs> were made with this doll. And I am, um, oh, oh, just a really big fan. Look at how long her hair is. And it's so soft, too. I mean, of course it is. It's, she's gulak. She's not going to have not soft hair. But, um, yeah, I just think that she's just so fabulous. And I'm so glad that I took her out of the box. And you know what I think the Gulia is, too? She didn't want to be in there. And that uh, concludes all of the G1 Monster High dolls that we are going to unbox today. I do have a Draculaura and a Draculaura playset uh, that I'm going to do an unboxing of. And then um, a couple other really exciting G1 finds that I, that I want to share because G1 is just... Um, I, no, I don't mean to keep saying G1. Monster High is just fantastic. I am a big fan of G3, and I don't know if that's coming across, but I very much am. If it's Monster High, I am here for it. So Monster High is getting their moment, a very long moment, for, perhaps, with me. And this is, as the kids would say, maybe my Monster High era again, like the 2.0 version i don't know i don't know but anyways guys i really really appreciate you being here like i really truly do i'm very grateful that you watched this video that you clicked on it that you're here and i really hope to see you in the next one so i hope that you will consider subscribing to the channel so that i can definitely see you in the next one okay guys that's that's all i got today um talk to you in the next one and have a good rest of your day bye